amazing group of real estate entrepreneurs. I was working two crappy jobs. I was working at a Jiffy Loop, changing oil. Um, I'm also a really good dishwasher. Turns out I can make nine bucks an hour washing dishes. So I did that for a while and um, was struggling with some student loan debt, uh, how to pay the rent. Uh, my mom was paying my cell phone bill. I was a financial mess. I answered an ad. I got introduced to a group like this. And at first I was like, wait a minute, people do real estate together? That blew my mind. I thought people just, you, you were lucky and you were on your own and good luck. And, and when I saw a community, I went, holy crap, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use these people. I'm going to lean on their shoulder. I'm going to ask them all the questions. And I really want to become a real estate investor as my career. I'm tired of going from job to job, living paycheck to paycheck. So um, I told my wife, my girlfriend at the time, he's my, she's my wife now, I'm going to be a real estate investor. And she went, wow, really? Good luck. That sounds like the craziest idea ever, but I'm not one to stop you. So whatever. And over the next nine months, I kept showing up to these workshops, these masterminds, the house tours. And I figured out a way to find my leads, to find my motivated sellers, to find the money to close on a deal. And my first deal put $21,000 profit back in our hands after paying off everybody, the realtors, the lenders, closing costs, everybody got paid. And what was left over was a $21,000 profit for us. Well, that was as much as I'd made at my job in one year. So I quit, kept doing these deals, kept showing up. Years later, I've done fix and flips, short sales, wholesaling, lease options, rentals, land development. And uh, now we're doing a big short-term rental land development deal out here in Tennessee. And it's been pretty exciting. I got to tell you, uh, the friends I've made, the people I've got to connect with, the systems I've seen uh, that run the, run the system behind the system has impressed me a ton. So I'm, I've been showing up every week, all week for the last 10 years. And I'm happy to share today's story uh, who's someone who's inspired me the way he's come from the ground up, rebuilt a business uh, from nothing and from scratch. I'm going to have him share his story. He comes from a totally different angle than I came from. And uh, he's down in the Arizona Scottsdale area. He's uh, looks like he's enjoying a good time here. So I'm going to have Mr. G, Dr. G come out on the call. Mr. Lawrence from Arizona. How are you doing today? Oh. Doing great, Michael. Thank you so much. And I tell you what, man, I never get tired about hearing your story. I mean, you know, you, you've come out of the grease pit, literally. That's right. Uh, yeah, it's just a joy to be able to share my story. And uh, thank you for the opportunity, Scooty and, and Mike, for allowing me to do that. Uh, my wife, Sylvia, and I, uh, we're soon to celebrate our 54th wedding anniversary. And uh, we had our own marriage and family counseling clinic for 23 years. And uh, back in 2003, uh, we decided to retire. Now, we had been on five different local radio stations for 20 years, reaching out to the community, letting people know, hey, we've got some answers, practical solutions to life's difficulties. And so that's how we fed our counseling practice. But anyway, uh, we decided to retire. I was almost 60 years old. Uh, but what happened, it took us six weeks to uncover the fact that we'd already lost 65% of our retirement portfolio in the stock crash. And uh, that was a shocker because we had been very faithful uh, to our retirement program for 25 years. We invested in mutual funds and stocks, which we thought were pretty safe. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, it was a real challenge for my wife and I because tw 23 years of successful practice, been on the radio for 20 years, and 65% of our retirement's gone. Well, I have never worked for anyone else. I, I would not make a good employee. Uh, I've always been self-employed. But uh, so for the next five years, we lived on what we had left. And at the end of 2009, our money ran out. I had no cash, I had no savings, my credit was maxed out. I had never been in that position financially in my entire life. So in 09, we filed bankruptcy. And in 2009, uh, actually the early part of 2010, a house we'd lived in for 18 years, a beautiful home in the gated community. Uh, we lost that to uh, uh, foreclosure. We lost everything. 
And uh, it was a real frightening time. And so for the next 12 months, uh, not a whole lot happened. Uh, I don't even, I can't even remember how we even made it, okay? Well, that's when I was introduced to Renatus. And uh, I had the uh, unusual opportunity to have met with Mr. Bob Schneider, our CEO and founder, for about two hours. He was down here in Phoenix. And uh, I came home and I told Sylvia, uh, when I saw the strength of his integrity and the depth of his character, I would be foolish not to embrace this. Now, remember, I have no money. Uh, so what I did, I decided I'm going to find the money and roll in the education because uh, the only thing I had to look forward to financially at that time was uh, $854 a month, Social Security. And folks, you don't live on Social Security. Uh, it was like looking over the chasm of poverty. Uh, but anyway, uh, I came up with a simple plan. And in 10 days, I was able to raise $25,000 cash startup. And that's what I paid for my enrollment. Now, I'm not going to throw a bunch of numbers out, but remember that now, now I'm 70, going on 71 years old, and I don't have 25 years to recover what I lost. But because of the Renaissance education, because the team, the community, uh, by the way, we didn't have a community here then. I started the first team in Arizona, but um, uh, it was about four months I was in the education. I came home one day and I said, honey, it's time I give my uh, education a job. I've got to put what I'm learning to work. And I went out and I did my first deal in Mesa, Arizona. I made a relationship with a private investor. I made a relationship with a hard money lender. Uh, I found a project manager. And in a 90-day cycle, I generated just over $37,000 in profit with my first deal. And I thought, holy cow, this works, <laughs> you know. And so I did my next deal out in Levine, Arizona, my next deal in North Phoenix. And uh, remember, I was doing fix and flips then because I was coming out of a deep hole. Bankruptcy is not a fun hole to be swimming in, okay? And uh, so anyway, uh, uh, the rest of it's history. Now, <laughs> uh, bringing up to date where I am now, I'm 76 years old. And because of the... Uh, lifetime access to this education. I've been able to go back and review various classes. And uh, we uh, just developed, just finished developing three lots, put the infrastructure in, put two double wide manufactured homes on two of the lots and a single wide on another lot. And uh, they're now listed. And it looks like we're going to generate just around about 100,000 to 110,000 in profit. Now that's pretty good. Now, I want to share this one last thought. What happened 10 years ago with the Great Recession, 08, 09, and 010, it's happening again across America. Look at this financial pandemic that's been created. But because of the Renata system that I've embraced, uh, I'm not suffering from the financial pandemic. Do you know what a blessing that is? And uh, so uh, I just encourage everybody no matter what your station in life is, whoever invited you to this particular call today, get with them and then decide that you are ready at this time in your life to get focused and create a future for yourself financially. So that's all I'm gonna say. Michael, uh, Scooty, you guys have any questions? That's a great story. It's a great story. I don't have any questions. You're, you're, you're a rock for all of us, brother. Well, well, you know what? I see all you younger guys and everything that's happening on the internet. Uh, my son, Kevin's been working with Sylvia and I diligently uh, to uh, teach us quite a bit about the internet. Uh, but you know what? It's all about serving people. It's all about caring about other people more than you care about your present circumstances. But if you don't get your present circumstances financially sound, you can't help anybody else. Uh, that's the bottom line. And uh, I, I, I say this very seriously, and some people think I'm joking. Uh, one commitment I make to everybody that I enroll in the Renatus education is I'm going to be with Renatus until you attend my funeral. I, I mean, stop and think about where else in America at this time can a fellow that's 76 years old work out of his home and generate uh, a, a six-figure income? 
you know, it's such a blessing. I just, I get so excited about it. Sometimes I, I, I lose focus on what I want to say. Well, I've well, never known you to be, um, uh, to be speechless. <laughs> well, well, that's what my wife says too. <laughs> well, 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 we appreciate you, Dr. G. And for everybody else, uh, we've got events that happen on a weekly basis. So what you want to do is get back in touch with the person who invited you here so that they can actually, uh, you know, they probably know what you need to see. Maybe you need to see a property tour. Maybe you need to see a workshop. Maybe you need to see an introduction or a briefing or a cash flow game that we're all doing. We've been doing this for years and years and years. I'm going to, I'm in a building we've had since 07. That's how long we've been doing this. Uh, we're through two crashes and we're still all together. And that's probably why we're all, that's why we're, we're probably okay because we've all hung out together and uh, you know helped each other in the in the valleys and, and celebrated the peaks. So I get back each other person in touch with the person who invited you here so that you can um, you just get more information and find out why why we're all family, why we're all hanging out together, and why Doctor G will probably either carry my casket or I will carry his. So it's a beautiful thing. Thanks everybody. Um, like Scott said, there are people out there that are looking to support you and get the information you need to get involved with what we're doing. So come hang out with us this week. There's some more info. Sharing is caring, baby. We'll see you guys soon. See you on the next one. See you guys later.